May profits be upon you. I'm going over Bitcoin right now. Last night, around nine o'clock, I suppose it was. Uh, let's see. I put out this at 9 11. I posted this in uh, my group. Uh, I noted the zone of demand at the at the bottom here and this zone of supply and i believed i believe that price is making lower lows and lower highs to this point all right and we have a correction and i believe this correction within this trading range the top and the bottom of this trading range is in uh uh is to just facilitates a lower high to be made on the low, on the higher time frames and i believe a lower low will end up uh coming after this soon after uh the the uh uh the whole market i believe is in a um in a downtrend so that's what i'm looking at right now uh i put that out and uh the next one I put out was here. Hold on. This one here. And uh, I put this one out. Was that today? Today? No. Yeah, th this morning. Seven, 7.30 this morning. I saw that price was coming up. I saw that we had a liquidity point to for price to get on the way up. All right? Because you want to see price... Uh, taking liquidity, generating liquidity to facilitate the move up, right? Into this unmitigated zone of of uh, demand. I mean, of supply. So, so I'm looking for price to get up in here and then round over. I don't think it should go past the 50% mark, the equilibrium of this, uh, the range of this uh, zone, right? Now, that was at 7.30 this morning. And now I will show you this one. Hold on. Okay. Uh, we've reached the POI. We've swept the liquidity into this POI. And I put this one out at uh, 16 minutes after 4. This is all Eastern Standard Time, just a little while ago. Okay. And... Uh, I'm looking for the supply to hold. Like I said, I don't think we should go past the 50% mark. I think we're going to be watching price come down. And the thing is, this is what I do. You look for price to come into contact with your higher higher time frame uh, POI. Your POI stands for place of interest. All right. And uh, then you go to your lower time frame for your setup. I'm looking for a 15 minute zone within the four hour zone. Okay. A 15 minute zone of supply uh, in the uh, four hour zone of supply. Right. And this is what I got. All right. Just, just minutes ago, got this one. This one came in at uh, two minutes, uh, two minutes, uh, two minutes later. I'm looking at the 15 minute and this is what I see. All right. And uh, there's a 15 minute zone right here. Price is coming to contact with that 15 minute zone. And what do you think I'm going to do now? I go for my entry on the one minute. I look for that one minute entry. All right. And that's something I say for, uh, you know, I won't go over here, but that's something that I say for my, uh, my guys at the group. Right. But, Safe to say, safe to say, you should be in this. Now, suppose you're not. Suppose you're not. That's okay. Because you see this here? You see this here? What I'm looking at are the last zones of, the last levels of of uh, resistance. Resistance, resistance. You think that might turn into support and maybe take price up? Price could take out that high, all right? But I'm looking at this whole zone and I'm looking at the 50% area of this zone as well within the, the larger zone. I'm thinking that uh, if price does take out that high, it's that was the only purpose of it to 
uh, give a deeper mitigation, a deeper penetration into this 15 minute zone up here. Okay. All right. Within the four hour zone. Okay. And uh, there, there's potential. There's potential for price to take that that wick out, take that the high of that wick, and come here. I'm looking for uh, any possible take here. Now you see this this zone here. You see this uh this wick. If I can get this a little closer for you, you see this wick here. What you want to see, what I want to see is. That's why I have that orange line there. Is price going to come back by that wick and then come back up? All right. If it come, if it goes back, if it comes back by that wick, then we have a 15 minute change of character. All right. And I would be looking for price to come up and uh, test this zone, maybe sweeping that high and then coming down from here. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm looking for a pullback. You know, I'm, I'm keeping my eye out for it. Price might just continue to drop. All right. No problem. You know, no problem. But there's always a pullback after an impulse, impulse, correction, and maybe another impulse. All right. Impulse, correction, and then maybe another impulse. If we get below this, this uh, historic, historic key level here where it was used to support here and then resistance, resistance, and then we get past it. And here we are using it uh, as support, you know, you can see that there's a lot of history in this zone. Okay, no problem. So I'm looking at all the speed bumps. I'm looking at all the hurdles. I'm looking at all the uh, uh, possible traffic that price is going to run into as it comes down because we are in a downtrend and I'm looking for more bearish price action. I'm looking for this low to get taken because this is relative equal lows and price is drawn to those relative equal lows because of liquidity. Okay. Just like it was here, right? Comes up, snatches it, and you expect a pullback of sorts as soon as price takes out new liquidity. So I'm watching, I'm watching this very closely. And uh, you you have an opportunity to still get in short. I'm letting you know that. What is this? What is this? That's not what I want to do. What what do I got here? What is it? That ain't what I want to do. Um. Oh, there you go. All right. And boom. So you know, if you're in, that's fine. If it comes back up here, if it comes back up to my entry, I'm out. At uh, I'm already out of uh, the initial risk. Once it gets past one to one for me, once it gets past one to one risk to reward, I take out the a, a partial to cover my initial risk, so I don't have to move my stop loss. If price comes back and hits my stop loss, I'm not losing a thing. You understand? I'm risk free at this moment. So that's that's the uh, suggested trade management. All right. If price comes back up there, takes out the high, but respects this high, which is an unmitigated zone of, of supply, then, you know, we're good to go. And then if it comes back up here, that's fine. What do I have? I'll have a, a, a quasi, I'll have a, a, a head and shoulders. And that, that, that works for me, okay? I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Do hit the like button if you did. And if you have comments, do leave comments. If you have a better suggestion, a better setup or something, you know, if you have some, uh, a different point of view, I, I would love to hear it in the comment section. Okay. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.